Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. Thank you for joining me today. Your support really does mean a lot. So I've had a technical problem with my camera today. Um, I've just been editing my shot my stash footage that I did a day or so ago um, and it's not wanting to play guys. It's, it's just saying that there's technical faults with some of the files. Um, and it was a 45 minute video, I'd picked out all the products with you, I've got... I suppose the only thing I can do really is show you the products that Pretty Random have picked out. I'm a little bit mad because I spent 45 minutes going through it with you guys and then also trying to edit it and then at the last very minute it said there was a technical problem. So we're just going to get into it, I'm going to pull the drawer out and just show you what it's picked, I'm just going to... Yeah, that's better. Just gonna put you down. Right, okay, so I found this in the bathroom. I used to use this all the time. It was in Project Pan at one point. You can see a little star there that I did. Um, this is Boeing 02, which is too dark, and the eye brightener. So that's the Boeing, and then that's the eye brightener. I would really, really like to try Boeing as well, but I haven't. Um, it's just too dark um, so that's that I'm gonna try and use it more and obviously try and project pan it um, so it's in an unofficial project pan then right so we'll go to primers okay so pretty random chose this one out for me so it's the Becca backlight priming filter it came in a set um, so yeah I'm glad to be using that but I watched someone else's shot my stash and she was talking about the Ole Henriksen and the fact that because it's got vitamin C in it, it, it has a shelf life basically and I did look at the back of it and it says six months. I mean, I don't think it's coming up to six months yet um, but I feel like it should go in an unofficial project pan as well. So I feel like it's going to stay in this drawer until it's used up. Now she said um, she loved this primer and I know a lot of people do. I just don't, I don't, I feel like it's so overpriced um, and I know skincare is but this one was £28. Um, I do feel like it's more of a moisturiser than an actual physical primer. Um, I did wear it yesterday and it didn't, it didn't wow me. Um, so yeah we're just going to continue to use that with the Becca one so we're going to alternate them when I use them this week. Um, then I've got this L'Oreal True Match and I put this on before I put foundation on it, it's so nice guys, um, it's the Icy Glow, um, it was only 3 99 from TK Maxx and you get quite a lot of product in it, oh it's just standard 30ml, it just looks more because you only need the tiniest amount. So yeah, we're using that for this week. Also what we're using for this week is this L'Oreal True Match. I brought this forward because I'm testing it out for two weeks. Um, it says after two weeks you basically look like you've got a more youthful appearance. I want to test that out. So I've got another week with this. This one is in the shade 1.R slash 1.C Rose Ivory. Then um, Pretty Random chose this for me, so it's the Laura Geller Balance and Brighton Foundation with an SPF of 15 in the shade Porcelain. I've had this years at this point, um, obviously the SPF probably won't work anymore but the powder itself is just really really nice as a pressed powder. Um, right, the concealer, I think I'm going to try and pull the stopper out of this. Um, I can see some windows here so yeah I think I'm going to try and pull the stopper out and this is the one that's took over from the Essence Camouflage um, concealer it's um, from Primark it's PS Beauty my perfect colour liquid concealer in medium coverage I'm not really a fan of it but I just want to use it up um, and it's in the shade Porcelain Again, I'm not really a fan of this, but Pretty Random chose it out for the week for me. It's the Collection Sheer Loose Powder in Barely There. Um, so yeah, we're using that. This is Project Pan. I just use this for like chiselling out the contour. 
Then um, this was also chosen out. No, actually, I chose this for my under eyes because I only have one other under eye setting powder, and that's the Becca one, and we used that last week. So I wanted to choose something different. Um, so that looks like that. Um, then we have this and this is part of project pan um, this is the wet and wild color icon in reserve your cabana and then that is it guys for for that um drawer the one good thing about doing it this way is it's not going to be a long video but i know you guys like to see me pick out products but every so often you know especially if I've got technical problems I'm not going to be able to do that um, so yeah I just wanted to show you because I know a lot of you guys do love watching these um, shop my stash videos and I know a lot of you come to the channel to watch them especially I did want to show you what we were pulling out for the week so that's that good. oh that won't fit Okay, so we're going to go into this really big, massive drawer now. Okay, so for bronzer, it goes this one. Um, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour in Dolce De Lecce. I barely used it, so I'm glad that it pulled this one out. Um, so you've got this side which is the contour and then this side to kind of chisel it out. I don't really need to be using this because I've got that other essence one. But yeah, I'm glad to have that. Then it shows this face palette out. Not used it in a hot second. It's Charlotte Tilbury's first one that she brought out. The Instant Look in a Palette. Um, five minute on the go and this one is in natural beauty she's got a lot of these out now but she doesn't I don't think she has this one out anymore um, so you get three eyeshadows one bronzer one highlighter and two blushes I feel like I'm gonna do a complete look with this on camera I know I've done another video with it um, but I feel like I just wanna like do a, another look with it on camera um, so I've only pulled six palettes instead of seven right so now we're moving on to blushes let's just pull this little tin out oops so I don't know if you right that's better right so blushes so we've got a project pan one which I'm not really going to go into it Pretty random chose this Sephora one. It's more spring summer, but that I don't really have a lot of like autumn winter blushes. So it sh it chose that one, and this one is Sweet on You number five. Then it went on to choose Max Copper Tone. Um, this one is an autumn winter one. It's really really pretty. It's almost like a bronzer. So I think you'd get away with not wearing a bronzer with this, with this kind of shade. I might try that. And then again, this one is um, an autumn winter shade. So this one is Ciarte's Date Night, which looks like that, which is really, really nice. Then we've got a new one that it shows out. I got this for Christmas for myself. Um, this is the W7 Double Bubble Blush Sex on the Beach. And it's a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's um, blushes that she does. And I've got one like this. Um, I can't remember what it's called. This one, I'm not too sure about it guys, on the outside, it's like really, really shimmery. Um, I'll just show you on the hand. Yeah, it's really, really shimmery. I don't think I'm going to like that, but I will try it. And if I don't like it, then I'll just try and pass it on to someone. I don't know who. don't know who would like that shimmery blush. Um, these are just like project pans, so we've got the so, so we've got the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerising Bet, and then we've got this Super Shock Eyeshadow in Hanky Panky, and then I've got the Nars blush there, which is being carried over from last year. As you can see, I really haven't made any progress, um, but we've got to keep trying these things. So that's all blushes. Right, 
and then we just got this other little tray here right so we've got a bronzer in here the only reason that this bronzer is in here is for this i just want to pan this bit here because as as i've said in previous videos this corset bit is really really hard and nothing comes off it um so i'm nearly getting to the end of that then pretty random chose out this beautiful highlight by xx revolution it's their most it's their more expensive brand it's, it's so so pretty guys the one good thing about me doing this now is I can do a few swatches. So I'm just going to put this here. So this highlighter is more of a pinky highlight. The, hoping the camera will focus on it. Ignore this. I think it's a lipstick from earlier. Um, so yeah, that's that. Then it shows out the MAC beaming. Is it? Yeah, MAC Beaming Blush. Really, really like this. It is a little bit dark, but what I can use this for, what I have used this for in the past, is I put it over a matte red lipstick and it looks absolutely amazing. I did it over the Anna Nicole by Jeffree Star lipstick when I didn't used to like this highlighter. I do like it now. Um, so I use it as a highlighter as well. But yeah, it's like a multi-purpose I mean, look at it. It's so, so pretty. I mean, I wouldn't say it's really, really dark. That's it there. Um, so that's that. And then it shows how Mac Soft and Gentle, but that was already in a project pan. Um, so I'm really, really, I'm really glad I'm going to be able to use this a bit more. Love this as well. These are the only two MAC highlighters I've got. That's that one. Even that one looks a little bit too deep for my skin tone. And then we've got Project Pan that are things in here. So we've got Lunch Money. And I've got this Essence Moonlighter Cushion by CLE that needs to be used. Okay, and then the last thing, oh, that needs to, that needs to, um, there's another highlighter here. These are all my bra brow products and things that I use on the daily, so I don't really want to go into that. It's just brow products, mascaras, there's eye tinting stuff in there as well, everything really. Um, but it also chose this out for me pretty random, it's the Laura Geller in Peach Glow. I feel like this is too dark as well. Um, so that's what that looks like. I'll try it on the skin, but it is very peachy. If it doesn't look good on the skin, I mean, when you blend it out, it, it looks fine. Um, it's the same with all the other highlighters. When you blend them out, they look fine. Um, but if it doesn't, I'll just use it for in a corner highlight or even like an eyeshadow. Um, so that's everything for the actual beauty box. Now we're going to move over to eyeshadows. Oh. oh no, please, nothing's have smashed. Gosh, I hope nothing's smashed. The worst one that could have smashed is this Urban Decay Naked Honey, please. No, it's fine. Phew! Um, but yeah, it's really, really lovely. I've not used this since I did the collaboration with Lisa from Banning, Panning and Beyond. And my idea when I knew that I was going to be using this is to use some of the tones I haven't used before. Normally I'm drawn to honey. That's what made me even buy the palette. So I'm, I, I maybe want to use amber or golden or HBIC or queen. Um, one of those all of the lid and then go to, go for the darker shades here um, so yeah I'm really really looking forward to using that I'm not really looking forward to using this 
by the way the ones I'm showing you first are the ones that Pretty Random chose for me how this works is Pretty Random chooses five I choose two for the week so this one I've used recently um, it's not that old in my collection it's the makeup obsession to be in love with what I do like about this palette is you can basically take all these eyeshadows out um, and you know if you don't like them you can put 10 other eyeshadows in there um, the majority of these eyeshadows guys I didn't like the, like the pigmentation just wasn't there I feel like I really like this starry eyed one though I'm gonna try and use like when I use this palette I'm gonna try and use something that I feel like the pigmentation isn't there just to see if I want to keep or declutter them um, it won't be getting decluttered anyway till March, April time. That's when I'm doing the spring declutter on my channel um, for eyeshadow palettes and anything else really. Um, but yeah, it's chosen that one out for me. So that's number two. This one it chose out for me as well. It's the PS um, Beauty by Primark Exotica eyeshadow palette. And I thought I would be decluttering this, but I used it yesterday and I absolutely adore it, guys. So, yesterday I used this purple shade here. This purple shade on. So, I used this purple shade here all over the crease. This purple shade all over the lid. Um, this like white duo chrome here on the inner portion and then I used this cornflower blue shade on the lash line and it looked really really nice it looked smoky um, but it looked nice oh and I used that black with the golden reflect on the outer V but yeah we're keeping that for now in the collection then we've got this revolution neutrals versus neutrals this is the one one of the ones that I just dropped on the floor with the urban decay naked honey so I'm hoping it's okay but if it's not it doesn't really matter I feel like the formula is drying up now anyway um, so I mean I really do like it it's actually intact I really do like the palette so I might actually get another one I want to do a, um, a look with these here these like rose gold shades um so yeah we'll be doing that i don't know when um but i will be doing that sometime this week and then i chose two so i chose this will be no surprise because i'm absolutely loving juvia's places formula at the moment so this one is the deuce by juvia's i think I'm not too sure if, it's, if it is my favourite now, but I've got this one and the Zulu. I, I feel like the Zulu was my favourite because some of the formula in this palette is a bit crap. Um, and I'll talk you through that. Um, but at the moment, I've just recently got the Mini Magic palette and I absolutely adore that palette, guys. I feel like that's my favourite over um, this palette and the Zulu. Right, so... Let's talk about Tarte, which is this duochrome here, this white duochrome. It's a very, very chunky mine. Um, it doesn't look that chunky on the on the hand. And even when I swatch it, but when I'm just kind of like, I mean, you can see here. I feel like you can see there that how chunky it is. <coughs> Excuse me. And this silver one as well that's quite chunky which is Mont Blanc yeah but even that that looks fine as well um, and then we've got puffs I feel like that's okay but it is quite chunky yeah quite chunky and there's quite a bit of fallout um, so that's that one but yeah, I mean, I don't mind it. Some of the, some of my favourite shades in this palette are definitely creme. It's what I've used the most. Um, macarons. I really like this berry mousse shade here. There's a dip in there as well. I do like tart. Um, it's nice for the inner corner. I would like to do a look one day just putting like tight all over the lid. It might even be this week that I try that just to see what it looks like. Maybe even going with this like matte fuchsia purple in custard like all over the lid and into the crease and then put that over the top. I feel like that would look so so pretty. Um, and then I've got this 
Disney Mulan eyeshadow palette by Mad Beauty. My mum bought me this for Christmas and I've not played with it enough so I thought I would pull this out as well. Um, this gold shade here called Strong Heart looks absolutely beautiful. Um, the greens look really, really nice. They're definitely my vibe. The only thing that isn't are these kind of like fuchsia pinks. I don't mind that purple there. Um, but maybe I should like try and go out of my comfort zone and wear pink eyeshadow. But I'm always so scared of looking like I've got pink eye. Um, so yeah, that's the whole entire shop my stash for the upcoming month sorry i keep saying upcoming month i do these things weekly um and it's a good job really with my collection so yeah this is all the palettes um and this concludes the video guys sorry you've not been able to it, it actually doesn't conclude the video what am i talking about lipsticks okay so sorry about that i just forgot to show you the lipsticks Right, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna swatch every single lipstick apart from this one. Um, so this one is the Too Faced Melted Matte and Child Star. Yeah, Child Star. It's just really, really difficult to come off once I've swatched it. That's it on the doe foot. Right, so for me, this is just far too light. Um, I mean, I have worn it. I worn it yesterday and it didn't look too bad. It didn't look as bad as... Um, NYX lingerie in corset which has the same peach undertone um, so I will continue to use it and I feel like at some point this is going to go in a project pan but I just need to use some other lipsticks that are in project pans at least one before I roll this in right so that's that one so then it shows out Sephora um, these are called Sephora Rouge Brilliant and this one is in the shade number 66 it's really really pretty but sheer so that's that one it's like a, a raspberry um, so that's that then it chose this Tarte Ravishing Lip Surgeons Lip Cream which is just like a lip pencil that's that one then it chose out this NARS Damage um, lipstick which is also another sheer kind of like autumn winter shade but it is really really sheer I don't like these kind of shades why did I buy it I feel like I bought this at the airport or did I get it from TK Maxx one or the other um, when I I was it I either got that from the airport when I went to Portugal or I got it from TK Maxx I can't remember and then we've got this Revolution Rebirth one. I think this one is my favourite out of all of them. Because um, it's quite matte. Looks like that. And it is very autumn winter. So let's put these back. And then one last thing I've got to show you is... Um, the glitters. Because I nearly forgot to show you that as well. So what I've decided to do is let's just wipe these off um get pretty random to choose three glitters out a week for me but i didn't use this one last week so this one is the all that glitters by the makeup gallery which is palm Land range and it's in autumn free i would have done a swatch of this last week isn't that beautiful um and then it shows out um, MUA's Glow in Moroccan Spice. It's the same kind of thing, it's a roll on shimmer. Again, beautiful. They are stunning. I could actually wear them two together in a look. Might not get around to it this week, but if I don't, they'll stay in and I'll do it not next week because next week what I'm going to be doing, I know I'm getting quite a bit of makeup for my birthday, so I'm going to do kind of. I, I've got this vision of me doing like a, a haul of all the um, birthday gifts that I got plus a shot my stash in the same video and then for that week, just that week, I'm going to be choosing my own makeup products that I want to use and then on week 7 we'll go back to Pretty Random Tuesdays my makeup. So basically I'm just having a week off from where Pretty Random Tuesdays everything and I'm choosing my own things. Um, and then the last thing is this W7 
OTT Magic Metals in the shade out of the blue now they sent me two of these I paid for both and they just made a mistake on which other one I wanted but I'm glad they sent me two I was then able to send one on to a friend um, which I hope she likes um, but yeah this one I have swatched it before but I've not used it and it looks so so nice I've also got um, purple prism and I've not used that one either these are a lot sheer than the um, Steeler ones but oh, look at it guys that is absolutely stunning so stunning right so now this concludes the video thank you for joining me sorry i've not been able to take you through to my drawers and and pick things out together hopefully next week will be a better week but i do feel like those videos drag on for a bit like i said um the video was like and and you've got to bear in mind after editing the video was like 45 minutes long so what would you have me do just do it this way where i'm showing you the products that i've chosen or that pretty random i've chosen or do you want to come into my drawers and see what i'm choosing out each week i don't mind which way you want me to do it um but i would really value your feedback obviously if you're not bothered i'll just continue to do it this way um but if you are bothered then i'll take you through to my drawers each week um but yeah um if you could just leave me a comment down below which way you like to see shot my stash videos i would really really appreciate it thank you for watching it does mean a lot to me as i say in every single video please like share and comment and if you're not already subscribed i would love it if you would hit that subscribe button click the notifications bell and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>